Hello guys, welcome back. So in the last video, what we did is that we set up our server, right? And in this video, what we will do is that we will set up our Android app. So we will be creating our basic Android app and then uh, we will implement different features. So for today, we will be implementing the splash screen. So basically uh, for splash screen, there is one way of doing it manually, but uh, we also have a Android recommended SDK that we can, we will be using in this specific video in which we will be setting up the splash screen uh, and we will be animating it right so without wasting any time let's just get started so what i'll do is that we will create a new project and uh, the project is going to be an empty compose activity so that is one thing so over here what i'll do is that i'll write it as food hub okay something like this food hub and write uh okay so once you do that you click finish okay so once the, uh, the basically the project is built what we will do is that we'll go to the gradle scripts over here and over here inside this build.gradle file get over here and we'll add a dependency for that so for to set up uh, to add the dependency what we need to do is that we need to set up that and for that what we need to do is that i'll set this value to be something like okay we will be using 1.0.1 .1 as a version which is fine and then what what over over here what does it mean is that we basically set the module uh, and uh, we set, define the version for that okay so now uh, we'll get back over here and inside that what we will be doing is that we will implement uh, whatever we mentioned lips dot four dot slash okay so once you do that you can just sync it and wait for the app to sync when you sync it now what you will do is that you will see something like this so like we have this thing uh this is the figma file i have just opened that figma file and uh, over here you will see the some pre design files so what you can do is that you can get the logo from here as well i'll be using this specific one with this background uh so what you can do is that you would you'll just uh, select this just make sure of one thing is that you do that it has this shadow so just get rid of that shadow and after that uh, select this whole group export and you can see the preview in the top right bottom corner and you can just export as an SVG so once you do that just select that as SVG and I'll just call it IC logo right so just click on that and it will be stored now we have exported that svg and uh, over here what we will do is that we'll get over here to this resource file and oh, uh, under this resource file we will be uh, going to this drawable right click new vector assets and then we'll go to the local file and from over here what we will do is that we will select that file that we created like in our case we selected this right so you can just use this uh, it will set something like this as 106 so just make sure to make it 50 so that's what we need and finish okay now once you finish that you will get something like this uh this refactor which is your width port uh your viewport width and viewport height right uh, now the thing is that we want to animate this we just don't want to uh, use it like directly we will be animating it so to animate uh, one important thing is that you need to define a group so what i'll do is that i'll create a group with something like this and uh, what exactly this means is that the name means the animation group this is basically uh, the thing that will help us identify uh, this group and then this pivot is basically half of uh this viewport width so the viewport width is 106 so the half of that is 53 and then the reason for that is that we want to place this uh, group in the center of the viewport rather than like uh, on the sides and things like that so what you need to do is that you'll just get like cut everything from there and paste it over here inside right the next thing that we could do is that we will set up the theme for that so to set up the theme what you need to do is that you get over here you you have this no action bar theme now what you will do is that you will be creating another style and that is going to be the uh, 
splash screen so i'll just gonna call it splash theme and the parent for that is going to be something like this so this basically parent dot theme dot splash screen mean that now this is basically the screen that you want and uh, over here this window splash screen background means that what kind of background do you want for this uh, either you want a white background or you want a uh, different color background so you can define the background based on your need and the third one is that it requires a animated logo so now what i can do is that i can use the ic logo which is the one that i imported but this will not animate right what i need to do is that i need to make sure that a logo that i add uh, like the item that i add is animated so what i'll do is that i'll create another animated logo uh, and over here i'll just get over here goes uh, something like animated logo this is just a normal resource file that we created now over here we'll get rid of this so once you get rid of this over here is basically uh, that you will define the animation so for that what you'll do is that you will say animated vector okay and now it will call like by default it doesn't have any drawable so you will just define the drawable for that so let's just call it something like this so one issue with the auto code generation that it didn't add it this so once you do that uh, what it will do is that it will basically uh, set the animator vector and uh, now basically this animation group is the group that i basically created over here so you remember we added this group inside this and this animation group is basically the one that is defined over here now inside this section is this basically logo animator this means that now it requires some sort of animations like uh, based on what we will be uh, how the animation is are going to basically work so to do that what you can do is that you can get over here and then create a new resource file and rather than going for value like for a normal values you can just search for the animator right and then over here let's call it logo underscore any okay so you'll just create this and this is basically uh, the one which, which will basically help us to create the animator along with that let's just create one more resource and create that and call it animation then over so once you do that uh, it will be something like this so what you need to do is that you need to change it to something like this and that is going to be empty the default and now we get over here into this animation what we will do is that we will create an object animator right and uh, uh, we'll just define this uh, resource for that the next thing that we want is the duration so for duration i'm gonna say that let's just make it a one second longer and then the, uh, the basically other port part would be uh, the interpolators that is going to be over I just made some sort of typo but you know what exactly what is going on so now the thing is that over here what we will do is that we will define what exactly we are going to do so basically we will be defining the property value holders the property value holders will help us do the type of different properties uh, like uh, scaling like rotation and things like that so this uh, property value holder this property name is scale x you can also make it rotate so when you do set it to rotate this means that now it will rotate based on the value and if you set it to scale x it means that the scaling from the x axis will be this uh, value is going to be float type and the value from 2 is basically the from in 0 which means like it will be coming from a very 0 level 0 point and 0 0.5 is something that basically uh, at the maximum value till that the uh, item will animate right you can set to different values based on the icon so uh, it's totally uh, how uh, the view you can set it to 1.0 as well uh, that will that means that it will be fully scaled but uh, else you can just set it to 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 or 6 based on your logo on how uh, basically it looks so it's more like a testing these things and the second thing that i need over here is that i need this property value holder for scale y as well and that is going to be the same so that is something that i need i got this object animator and uh, over here that basically is set up inside my animated logo 
so that is done if you go to back to theme you can see that this animated logo is already set over here so i think more or less we have done most of the thing from the uh, from the code from the uh, resources side and now what you need to do is that we'll go over here into this um, portland side go to main activity and inside this main activity uh, before on create what you can do that you can say install splash screen which means that now okay the splash screen is now uh, created and then the next thing is that you can apply some some settings now it sees set true means that this uh, if you set it to true this means that this value will remain like this so we don't want that so so i'll do a couple of things the first thing is that i would say should show splash screen and that is going to be war okay and i'll set it over here so basically this is something that i'll handle later on and now on the set on exit animation listener means that what do you want to do over here like do you want to remove the item straight away or do you want to animate it like we did for the creation so what we will be doing is that like when the this splash screen comes up it will be animating as a scaling from the zero to uh, the 0 0.5 and in this case what we will do is that we will scale back to to from from 0 0.5 to 0 so that's that's what we want so for that is that we'll say zoom x equals to something like this okay this means that the screen value uh, so it's basically the icon uh, out from the screen from the splash screen this icon view is something that we basically did and we will be setting it on scale x the value is not going to be 0 0.5 instead it would be 0 0.5 because uh, you remember that we had the uh, 0 0.5 set in the in the animator and then we will be doing the same thing for 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 y as well so you need to define zoom x duration and then zoom, zoom y duration then uh, interpolator for both and it is going to be in overshoot interpolator for both of them once that like basically the animation is done what you need to do is that do on end on end what we will be doing is that we will be saying screen dot remove means that the flat screen will be removed and we'll be doing this same for y as well and we will start it so what we did is that basically we created a x axis uh, scaling as uh, y axis scaling and this time what we did is that we set it from 0 0.5 to 0 which means that it will go back and uh, i guess that's that's pretty much what we have done so now what i'll do is that i'll go to a, a api 33 because because the animation is going to work only on the api level 31 above devices and uh, after that yeah just one more thing that i need to do is that this splash screen so what we will do is that we'll create a suspend function and let's create a coroutine scope so that is something like this and we'll set we'll import the values function and we'll set the delay and then set it to false the splash screen so now uh, as per the expectation what's going to happen is that it will load the splash and after three seconds is three seconds it will be just go back so i'll just run the code and i hope it will work or i guess just one more thing that we need to do is that make sure once you set this theme like we define this theme you also need to set this splash theme in the manifest as well so we'll go to the manifest Go to the manifest and over here you see that we have this uh theme so we'll just set it to splash theme okay this is important because if you don't do that the splash will not work okay okay yeah just one more thing is that there is there is slightly issue with the existing implementation of what you do so make sure if you are using kotlin 1.9 your core ktx should be 1.13 uh it's basically a kind of a mismatch on what the Kotlin version is installed my system. But if you are above one two point zero of Kotlin, you should be fine. Right. So now let's just run the code again. This time, hopefully, it will work. Okay. So I just did some sort of animation, uh, but the, the going back is fine. But when it comes forward, it looks like it just break that view so we'll just see what is wrong here uh we'll go to our logo animator over here and 
little more animation to this and uh, it's slightly it's cutting it off so what i'm gonna do is that i'll set it to 0 0.4 so that it doesn't cut it off and now let's see if it basically fixes the issue yeah now you can see that the animation is perfectly fine it's taking more time so let's just make it again 1000 and rerun this code okay so basically it's it's how this works and now it will go back and then the main screen will be done so basically this is how we are going to set up our animator uh, one more thing um, like if you don't like this specific uh, color or the, the uh, implementation for this you can just revert the the color of this so what we can do is that we'll just up revert this to these just replace these colors like this right then over here make it uh, something like this so once you do that this time when you rerun the code will be just this dialogue this icon that basically appears so like this right so that was it for this video i'll see you in the next video so till then have a great day bye i hope you liked the video and if you did please like the video comment down below and share the video with your friends for similar content you can subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on instagram and if you have any queries you can join my discord server where we discuss different kind of things so thank you so much for watching the video. Have a great day. Bye.